Hey guys, what's up? There are a ton of angles, different adjustments on these cars. You got towing, you have kick up, you have camber, caster, anti squat, roll center. What is all of this stuff? What did I just say? It seemed like I was speaking in a different language. So, this series is my attempt to uh, help you to understand how to, adjust a, how to adjust your car, how to use those adjustments to uh, really help you dial in your car better for the track. So, Let's get started. All right, so this week we're going to be talking aero kits, wings, basically. Not chicken wings, not buffalo wings. So, yes, another simple way for you to adjust your vehicle is the way how the air moves, moves over the car. Uh, so, you can, you can see that this has a front uh, low wing right well, right here. Usually high traction surfaces have a have a have some kind of a front wing to give you more steering. It's lower like this for rollovers because if you roll over with the wing that's on the top, it can get cracked over uh, after so many rollovers. It probably will break off. But this way, when it rolls over, you're fine. It almost feels like it puts the the downforce a little bit more forward, giving it like a giving it like a Formula One feel to it. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. With rear wings. Um, you can have it, you can have more or less of a, of a scoop of an aggressive lip right here. So obviously the flatter that this is, the less downforce you get, and the higher it is, the more downforce you get, uh, which means more traction in the back. I cut all of my wings to about the same height, and then I keep some that are still full. I have a pack of wings that I bring to the track. These right here, you can see I cut them all to about the same, cut these two to the same height, which is the same as these, the same ones that are in my B64. And then I have ones that I haven't cut right here. Whoops, uh, right here. Yeah, so that's one way that you can use the wings to adjust. But I'm gonna throw bodies in here as well. I've said before that using a body is a way to tune the car for the track and I still stand by it. This body is very similar to the S2 and I think I've done even a side-by-side, -side, but I still like the S2, not just because it has my signature scheme on it, but just the way it looks. And these two are very similar. The S2, between the S2 and like the stock body for the B6, I would say that the S2 felt a, little, a lot more planted and more stable. Felt kind of light with the, with the stock body but not, not a terrible light. I'm not alone in thinking this. I wish I had footage of it, but the last race that I did at my, at my hobby shop, Spencer Rifkin actually, before the mains, was driving the car with uh, this body, and then he put the S2 on to see which one, I'm sure it was, to see which one felt better. So, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this, more running videos, review videos. If you guys got any ideas, post them down below for me. That'd be great. It'd be fantastic. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys next week or at the track.